how it sounds with the microphone off. This is how it sounds with the microphone on. If you're someone who wants better voice quality in their videos, this video is for you. Because today I'm reviewing the Wireless DI Duo microphone from Movo. This one is made for iPhones, but they of course make them for Android as well. The last time I reviewed one of these clip-on mics for phones, the quality was underwhelming to say the least. Now if you've seen my other videos, you know I have several professional microphones as part of my home studio. And to be clear, I was sent this microphone for free by Movo to use in a video. They didn't request any specific messaging surrounding the product, so this is all my honest interpretations and review. When I'm on the go and need compact solutions, I typically use this Tascam DR10L. It's a $200 microphone. It's awesome. I have to sync it in post with my Canon R6. I also use my Rode VideoMic Pro on top of my camera, which is what you're hearing right now. So between these two, I'm usually covered when I'm traveling, but it does require more editing time on my part. Or with the Rode VideoMic Pro, I have to be pretty close to the camera for it to be an effective solution. Right now, I'm about six feet from both the Canon R6 and the iPhone 11 Pro, to which this microphone is plugged in. These two microphones are at least twice the price of the Wireless Mini Duo, and they don't work directly with phones. You also get two transmitters with the Wireless Mini Duo. So this will be of more value to you if you primarily shoot video with your phone and have two people on camera at the same time. What was like the first thing you noticed that's different between the US and Brazil in regards to food? I would say that food here is maybe more processed. I wanted to test it outside as I primarily use, you know, microphones like this on the go when I'm traveling with just my backpack and don't have studio equipment with me. I just need to open the pouch, plug it in, and I don't have time to set up my Canon R6. It comes with standard windscreens for each microphone which usually work well in light breeze, but aren't too effective in moderate to heavy wind. And this is how the built-in iPhone 11 Pro microphone sounds outside um, without the Movo plugged in. As you can tell, there's a big difference in quality when using this microphone versus not using it, both inside and outside. This is me talking without the Movo microphone. This is me talking with the Movo microphone on. It has a battery life of 10 hours and claims a maximum transmission distance of 164 feet. I see this as being a great buy for people who primarily shoot with their phone, want better audio quality for one or two people, there is a solo option, and they don't mind the look of you know a small clip-on microphone. However, I do believe I could tape this to my chest and hide it under a shirt. It is small enough to do that. Okay, and now I have the microphone taped to my chest with a band-aid underneath my shirt. You can tell that still sounds pretty good. So as a professional videographer, I don't usually shoot with my phone, but this is a great option in a pinch, and it is much better than the last wireless phone mic I tested. So at a price point of $80 last I checked, this may be a great buy for those who primarily shoot with their phone. It's gonna keep your audio consistent throughout. And when I pulled it into Premiere Pro, the levels peak at negative 12, which is great. So it auto balances your levels. You don't have to worry about that. So if you're a phone video shooter who wants better audio without the hassle of syncing and editing, this may be for you. It's also ideal if you wanna move far away from the camera and focus on other tasks while filming. Check out the links below for both the Movo Wireless DI Duo and the Tascam DR10L. It won't cost you anything extra to use my links and you'll also be helping me make YouTube videos more often. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.